I hope he didn't forget about our appointment today. Big TK <laughs> Gaming! Uh -oh. uh, what the hell? My bad. What are you Did doing I, is, here? It's not a good time for you? We Man, had an you appointment. Man, you just can't be showing up to my house all willy-nilly. What's wrong with willy you? Willy-nilly? We talked about this. Yeah, I know We're why for the game room tour. We're for the game room tour. Just come on, man. I come on? I come in? All yeah, right. Awesome. That's on you. Come oh, on, man. I really right. appreciate this. Next time, call me or something. Okay, okay. What's up, YouTube? How the hell are you? It's your boy, Big TK Gaming, and I'm back with another video. Man, I hope everybody's out there doing fine. I hope you guys are staying safe. Man, so I actually was a little reluctant to actually upload this video. This is a game room tour for 2021. And the reason because, because my game room hasn't really changed that much this year. So, but I have got some key things and some things I want to show off in the game room. So I need you guys to do me a big favor. Make sure you like, I need likes. I need you guys to subscribe and I need you guys to turn on your notifications. So when I do upload, you actually get that little ring of ding. The notification lets you know that hey big tk gaming has a new video go check it out so i need you guys to do that for me make sure you comment below because i'm always interested in what my people have to say maybe some you know criticism some constructive criticism not just being hateful go ahead and drop that below let me know what i can work on let me know what you guys want to see man but yeah this is a video for my game room 2021 and I want to show you around the room, show you the cool things that I have acquired within the last year or so. And so we're not going to prolong this video, man. Let's go ahead and get on with the video. It's your boy, Big TK Gaming. Uh, Y'all boogieing? You boogieing with me? Come on, boogie with me. Come on, boogie with me. Now let's go. Twenty twenty one game room tour. Let's go, baby. As you can see, we're gonna take a look around the game room. You look down, you got Super Mario go ahead and welcome you in into my awesome game room. I love that floor mat. Let's go ahead and take a step down. We're gonna open up the fridge and see what's actually in the fridge. I don't even know what's in here actually. Let's take a gander. All right, got a little liquor. Got a little liquor. Got some corona. Hold the virus, you know, no COVID nineteen. Anyway, uh, Go ahead and close that right there. As you can see, you scroll down, you can see my actual popcorn machine that I haven't used in ages. Got some magazines, some game informers up under there. You go up, you can see my, I guess you would call it the anime wall. This is where mostly I keep all my anime inspired characters, posters and whatnot. I actually need to do more to this wall. Got some Naruto, uh, got some My Hero Academia, got some Dragon Ball Z. You guys have seen this before. I ain't too much on the change on this wall, but you know, I feel like I should highlight it. Of course, got some. I got some more Dragon Ball Z characters added to this um, to this uh, <clears throat> this counter right here. We're gonna go ahead and scroll over. You got some One Punch Man. Now this is where it gets good. Got a couple of Marvel. This is where you start your Marvel stuff. We got the Avengers Infinity War poster. It got my man Stan. Got Stan the man, the legend himself. I seen this at a Walmart. Had to pick it up. I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And uh, if you guys go down a little bit, you can see my actual bookcase where I keep all my controllers. The controllers that I play with or when I have company over, you know, they can grab a, con a controller and we can get into some serious gaming. Some Nintendo Switch, you got some Wii U, some Xbox, uh, and some GameCube, etc., etc. This is the Marvel 
side so this is an actual a lot of my marvel figures I got some empty boxes from my infinity gauntlets what i have on display and as you can see this is my classic gaming corner with uh, all the superhero paraphernalia we'll go ahead and use a beanbag chair so if you guys want to kick it old school pull up a beanbag chair we can hop on some old school video games all right got your boy deadpool rocking the ray mysterio mask got both the affinity gauntlets you know what i'm saying got thor's hammer you scroll down you can see i have the sega saturn along with the og nintendo and uh yeah got the old school consoles you got your sega genesis your super nintendo you got your dreamcast you got your n64 gamecube all the good all the oldies but goodies baby all the oldies but goodies you see the original xbox down there so yeah man i, I actually picked up this uh that tv stand from uh offer offer up it was awesome so right here i have dc characters right here a couple of these i bought from walmart some of these i bought from my local uh comic book store so but i just actually i just love this area i kind of like how it came out over the years of course some things have changed uh so i kind of like how overall it looks now you go over i have another uh shelf not shelf but this is mostly a uh where i keep mostly all my other game controllers that i don't play that often so i actually need to replace this thing man it's crack right there got your master chief bust or statue right there we're gonna go ahead and move on and i very rarely even play this thing but uh yeah i got my racing rig yeah, my I guess I don't play it because I'm kind of an old school racing guy. Like I kind of like the arcade type racing, and these are too much like simulation racing. Racing. So yeah, and if you know anything about me, you know I'm a Ninja Turtles fan, man. I got my Ninja Turtle area, got it decked out with the TMNT, got pillows, got uh, just different figures that I found over the time, whether it be at a Goodwill or a flea market or Walmart, Target. I believe I bought. Some of these things from Toys R Us before they went out of business. R.I.P. to Toys R Us, man. Heard they making a comeback, but don't know how true that is. But yeah, man, some of this stuff, man, I just, I see it and I just grab it to go over here. As you see, I got some Ninja Turtle VHSs. Anybody got a VHS player? Let me know. I'm looking for one. I want to actually get into collecting VHS. And for those who don't know, I just got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade one-up machine. I actually had somebody donate this machine this cabinet to me and i'm hella grateful they was actually gonna dispose of it can you believe that can you believe how crazy that is but i love these things uh i love this thing this is one of my favorite arcade games so i definitely love hopping on this every once in a while and playing it so we go ahead and scroll over a lot of y'all done seen this before if you've seen my past uh game room tours you've seen this before i got a couple of things that i added as you can see i got a 360 box got the dj hero box that's been there got some xbox and one games it's a little slacking in the xbox and one games i still you know still got a couple of games i still want to pick up got some original og xbox games uh we're gonna scroll on down we got some more xbox uh one games along with some xbox 360 games got some classes you see uh modern warfare got some resident Evil 5 some halo got to have halo got to have halo you can't be an xbox fan without halo or some gears of wars those games are the end all and be all when it comes to the xbox you go on down got some sega genesis of course i got the sonic hedgehog dvd got it from uh i believe walmart for black friday got the the sonic hedgehog tiger handheld y'all remember those they actually reproduce those and you know they carry them in certain stores like target and walmart so had to grab that got the sonic statue that's uh new to the actual game room but yeah man i love the sonic hedgehog movie can't wait till the sequel come out y'all like that movie if you do drop a comment below how much you like it don't work don't look at this this is a little dusty down there but just random things I know y'all see it. Y'all see this new, brand new, spanking new Nintendo Switch. This is the 35th anniversary Nintendo Switch. It's all red. Blood gang, baby. Blood gang. Gang gang. Y'all see the entertainment system. This is new. Uh, I don't I don't do believe I had this entertainment system my last game room tour. And uh, I dropped the Wii down there. I got the Wii U. Of course, you got to have the original X. Not the original Xbox. Excuse me. I got the uh, Xbox One. Got a PlayStation 2. Got to have PlayStation 2. You know, we go hard on that NFL Street. Y'all know about the NFL Street. Look at that. What's that, y'all? That's that PlayStation 5. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, but as you can see, you haven't really changed the posters. You got the big TK Gaming game room sign up there and not in all its glory, looking all illuminated and gorgeous. Gonna scroll over, as you can see, I got that PS5 box sitting up there, sitting high and pretty. You scroll down, this is my PlayStation area. So of course I got the PlayStation sign, got some original PlayStation video games. We're gonna go ahead and drop it down low. Uh, this right here is my PlayStation 2 games, man. PlayStation 2 is probably one of my favorite consoles of all times, man. I love the PlayStation 2. And we got some PlayStation 4 games. As you can see, my PlayStation 4 uh, inventory has gotten a little bigger. It's gotten a little bigger. My PlayStation 4 collection has gotten grand. Yeah, man, I've been collecting a lot of PlayStation 4 games. So a lot of these games have been on sale and I, I just cop them. I got a handful of games for probably like 20 bucks from somebody who was selling it on um, OfferUp. So yeah, man, of course I got some PlayStation related uh, statues and busts. Well, not necessarily a bust, but these are more like figures and statues. Got some Crash Bandicoot with the original PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Got your boy Kratos with the boy, boy boy you got a bobblehead kratos but like i said man a lot of you guys y'all done seen a lot of this stuff of course i don't know why that megazord uh uh pop is upside down but it got a bunch of pops down here got the fiend anybody watch wrestling all right youtube this is my nintendo area it's a little junky it's a little junky don't judge me as you can see i got some super mario decals all over the wall you see my super mario figurines so this is basically like mario is the kind of this is the the guy that kind of did it for me he kind of, you know, set that passion in my heart as a kid to, you know, fall in love with video games. As you can see, I got some Super Nintendo, some Wii games, some GameCube games. It's a little, it's a little disorientated, but you know, I'm gonna straighten it up in a minute. I just wanted to hurry up and get this video out for you guys. And uh, yeah, man, you see, I got that Super Mario 3 poster right there, which is probably top, top, probably one of the best Mario games ever. Also, as you can see, I got some more old school Mario decals. And uh, yeah, man, I just love this section of my game room. So that was pretty much it for the game room tour update, man. And for 2021, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I haven't been putting out too much content here lately. And uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Life's just catching up to me, man. It's just, what can I say? But we're going to make it to 1K. Can we get it to 1K, y'all? I can't even make it to 1K without y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. 